today was a great day to start a writing vlog. This is the start of something new. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. Today is my first writing vlog of the year. In my writing goals video, I talked about how I want to try and do one writing vlog a month. So I'm going to see what happens. I'm very much a mood writer. I'm a mood reader, meaning that if I'm in the mood to write or read, I will. And so that's my problem right now is because I didn't really think I was going to be this invested into my new work in progress, but here we are. So I'm going to just start out this writing vlog talking about my new work in progress, which I kind of talk about in my writing goals video, but this is the start of something new. No, really, that's what it's called, the start of something new. I am writing a high school musical retelling with a transmit character and I'm obsessed with it. I'm in love with it. Today is January 15th and I am almost 10k into my work in progress. My goal is to get it around to 80,000 words because that is what a general YA contemporary is. My other book, Breaking the Ice, which is my hockey book, is 85k. My goal is to finish this in February. I just want the draft to be over with and I think by the pace that I'm going, I could definitely do that. I think that could really happen because I've really only been writing this draft for I think like two weeks um, on and off like I've touched it, kind of gone back to it, and I'm almost 10k into it. So I think that's a pretty plausible goal that I could achieve. Um, I'm just excited to write it. I am really enjoying it. I've talked about it briefly in my past few videos and in my Ho 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 writing tag, which will be up here if you haven't seen it. I don't think that YouTube is really recommending it to people because it's not a booktube video, it's writing. Um, and that's how the algorithm works. But I talked about my inspiration for this book came from Between Perfect and Real by Ray Stove, which is a trans theater book about a boy named Dean who gets the role of Romeo in his high school's production of Romeo and Juliet. And so I was like, guess what? I am gonna write a high school musical retelling and here we are. I am just so excited about this project. Um, I'm also really excited to get back into Breaking the Ice because hockey is on now. And as I was watching hockey a couple days ago, I was just like, oh my god, I love hockey. I am so excited. And I'm just excited for my writing this year. I've talked about this in my goals video, but I'm going to be working on my editing for Breaking the Ice because I would love to be able to pitch it to Pitch Wars. I really want to be able to focus on that and possibly pitch it in 2022. I am just very excited about my writing that is going to happen this year and I really hope that I have the same mindset throughout the whole year because I can burn myself out because I just get very very excited and kind of hyper fixate on it and then I'm kind of burned out and don't care about it anymore but I just started writing my characters interacting my main character and my love interest and I love them I'm just obsessed with them talking to each other and I just really love this I love that this would be my backup book um, because if you haven't seen any of my writing vlogs I have talked about how I do want to be traditionally published and I like these vlogs because then I get to document the process and it's fun. So I just wanted to update a little bit and introduce you to the vlog and I am excited for this new year of writing. Before I end this clip, let me just pitch you some of the book that I have so far. This is about a 17 year old trans boy Jonah living in Brooklyn, New York. He is all ready for winter break as his school has dismissed him for the holiday season. And as he gets off of his subway stop, he is walking towards his home and notices that it is caught fire and there are fire trucks and firefighters all around. So due to this unforeseen circumstance, him and his family are forced to go and live in Pennsylvania with their relatives. Throughout his high school career, he has always been in theater, but he's always been behind the scenes working on set design and lights. But his cousin notices when he's singing in the shower that he can sing and she makes him audition for their production of High School Musical and he 
does not want to do that at all. Um, but he is convinced and he gets the role of Troy Bolton. It's obviously still a first draft so I don't even know if I want it to be so much High School Musical Inception that people kind of get tired of it. Um, but I am really enjoying the writing process of this and just adding the beats and all. Where I am right now is I have watched too much High School Musical. <laughs> If if that is even a thing, I have realized that High School Musical has no plot and if you follow me on Twitter, I was kind of doing like a live tweeting of it because I realized that there's only the callbacks at the end. I'm like, what? They are so hyped and nervous because it's just callbacks. We don't even get to see the full show. Like they are just this invested in the callbacks and it's not even the full show. One of my favorite commentary YouTubers, Jarvis Johnson, he has two videos on this. He has one on Just High School Musical and then one on High School Musical, the musical of the series. And so in his video, he mentions that as well, that there's barely a plot and we don't really get to see the show Twinkle Town. Um, um, and how Kelsey is a really bad composer. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a lot of fun writing this. I feel like that synopsis is going to change um, just because I'm not sure if I want to do an Inception. I have talked to people about it and they're like, yes, that would be so cool. But I feel like that is very niche. And if I'm going to try and market it and pitch it, I don't know if that's just too much. Honestly, I would love anyone's feedback. So if you would be interested in that, let me know. Let me know if you think that maybe it's just a little bit too much. I'm trying to think of what musical would be equivalent to Twinkle Town. Or I just make up my own. Honestly, I could probably just make up my own. Um, I'm kind of thinking of like Hello Dolly. I feel like that would probably be a good one. So I just wanted to introduce this writing vlog, talk a bit about my new work in progress and I am very excited for these writing vlogs. I hope you are as well. I know that there are a couple people that do love my writing vlogs. I went back a couple days ago and watched my writing vlogs from the summer which you can watch up here and I just was really excited because I was just reading all the comments of everyone saying how much they love them so I'm excited to bring them back. So I present you the January writing vlog of 2021. Today was a great day to start a writing vlog. I have 34 words until I hit 10,000 words. Sometime tonight, let's say nine o'clock, I hit 10K words on my High School Musical retelling. I don't, I don't know how I did it. Um, <laughs> I really don't know how I did it. I'm really shocked and impressed with myself, honestly. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I did start a little bit in December, but I think this month I really went full into it. And so I just wanted to update and say I hit 10K and I will see what else happens this month. <laughs> My tripod is being used right now, I have to share it, um, but I just wanted to update because I am 17,718 words into my first draft. I am hoping by the end of this vlog I'll be able to hit 20k, which I imagine will happen in a couple of days. I took a couple breaks and I've talked about this in my other vlogs, but sometimes I just don't have the motivation, um, which is definitely happening at the minute. I have a lot of ideas and stuff for videos and all, but I just don't feel like doing it. That is it. We've been in a pandemic for so long. Honestly, I'm sure everybody feels like this by now. I set out to try and write every day, but 
I just can't do that to myself so I've just been writing what I can and what I want to. Um, I do have some goals set on my dabble for every day but I just kind of was a little burned out and kind of getting in at the last minute and I just don't want to do that to myself because this isn't NaNoWriMo. It is just something that I would like to get done but I'm not going to pressure myself to do it. So I would like to hit 20k. That'll probably happen soon. I write pretty quickly. So I just wanted to check in because I really haven't checked in in a couple of days. So that's where I am right now and I will update you once I hit another milestone. I have just been consumed with High School Musical so much so that even a TikTok related to High School Musical came up on my For You page. And even when I thought that I could not escape High School Musical anymore, I even had a dream about it. I had a dream that I was directing it and that could hopefully help my story, but I was like, I just want to sleep and not think about High School Musical while I'm asleep. Um, as much as I love High School Musical, I think I know a little bit too much about it now and I am entirely consumed in it even when I am asleep. So just wanted to update a little bit and I will be back once I have another update. It is the next day and remember yesterday when I said I'm gonna hit 20k by the end of this vlog or I would like to? Well, I'm gonna hit it in 247 words. So probably in the next sprint, I will have hit 20,000 words. <laughs> so I'm currently listening to Paramore and I am going to hop into a writing sprint and get to 20k. Here we are at 20,000 words. I love to see it. Now I just have 162 words left to write for the day. What's up Wildcats? Welcome to the end of this month's writing vlog. It is currently snowing outside and I have hit 25,000 words of my work in progress. It is January 31st, the end of the month. So I'm here to give you some updates and if you have not seen my writing goals video, I'll have it up here. I suggest to watch it if you like my writing content and you just want to be more involved with it. That video will help you understand more of what I want to do this year with my work in progress. If you're going to keep up with my writing content, I suggest to go and watch that video. Everything will make a lot more sense from this vlog if you watch that video. So definitely go and do that after this one. I am really enjoying my work in progress. I feel like I'm either going to be a High School Musical super fan or I'm going to be very sick of it at the end of this whole project. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. I've run into some issues mainly because I am the type of person to write out of order and I should not do that but I just can't help it. I have so many scenes in my head and I just need to write that scene but the issue I'm having now is that I did write the beginning of the book but I need to like add more depth to it because then I'm just gonna have this 80,000 word draft and I am going to have more of my second act and third act be longer. Essentially I need to write the scene that starts out the book where where my main character finds out that he is moving because of this tragedy that has happened in his life. Um, and so I really don't have that. I kind of just have the scenes where he finds out his family groups together and then I already wrote that they're on the road. So I really need to add that scene. So something I didn't do for Breaking the Ice is write any notes for myself while I was writing that first draft. So I am doing that now. I've already written notes to myself for things I need to do in my second draft, including that I forgot that my character's cousin, who he moves in with, has a dog. 
I have written him in the freaking house, but no dog to be seen. The dog must just be asleep the whole time or outside because I have not written the dog. So I totally forgot about that and I went in and I did write the dog in, but when I go into my second draft, I will be writing that dog all over the place. So my first draft, I'm just gonna have it dogless and then my second draft, I'll just write the dog in. So that just shows how scattered my brain is that I just can't have a concise thought and be able to put it down on paper because it will just go out of my head immediately. So that is definitely a problem, but at least I wrote it down. Um, so I do have some notes for myself, which I'm very proud of myself for doing that because I did not do that with Breaking the Ice. And I'm definitely learning from my mistakes with that book. That book's like my baby. And then this is like my second child. So I am learning along the way. Um, but that's kind of it. I hit 25,000 words today. Total of words I need to write in February to finish this draft are 55,877, which is totally doable because if I could write 25,000 words in one month, I can definitely do more than that next month, but we'll see what happens. Alexa Dunn, who is a writer and author tuber, she was hosting writing sprints on her channel a couple of days ago, and she was asked how long does it take for her to write a draft, and she is now like a published author, so hers is a little bit different, but she said it usually takes three months, and so the fact the fact that I could do this in at least two months is actually a good thing that this is one of my strengths that I can write really quickly and be able to finish a draft in about two months. If you want to keep up with my writing journey and my writing vlogs this year, hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications and hit all because if you do personalize then they're not going to be sent out to you. Um, I can see my analytics that sometimes they send them out and sometimes they don't. So it just depends on what happens. That's it for me today. I will see you next month with my February writing vlog. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're all having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.